Hey everyone, welcome to eConcepts. Today we're diving into a fundamental topic in electrical engineering, resistive, inductive, and capacitive loads. This video will break down the differences, explain key concepts, and give real-world examples. Let's get started. First, the question is what is load? In electrical systems, a load is any device or component that consumes electrical energy and converts it into another form, like light, heat, or motion. Loads can be categorized into three main types, resistive, inductive, and capacitive. Let's explore each one. First comes the resistive load. A resistive load is a type of load that converts electrical energy into heat. It opposes the flow of current without causing any phase shift between voltage and current. Here are some of the key characteristics of the resistive load. In a resistive load, the voltage and current are in phase, meaning they reach their peak values at the same time. The power factor is unity, indicating that all the power supplied to the load is used effectively without any energy being stored or returned to the source. Resistive loads convert electrical energy entirely into heat, making them simple and efficient for applications like heating and lighting. Let's review a real-life example of resistive load. Think of an old-fashioned incandescent light bulb. When you turn it on, it glows and produces heat. The bulb's filament acts as a resistive load, converting electrical energy into light and heat without any phase shift. Next comes the inductive load. An inductive load is a type of load that stores energy in a magnetic field when current flows through it. It causes the current to lag behind the voltage by 90 degrees. Let's review some of the key characteristics of the resistive load. In an inductive load, the current lags behind the voltage by 90 degrees, meaning the current reaches its peak value after the voltage does. The power factor is less than one, lagging, as some of the power is stored in the magnetic field and returned to the source, leading to inefficiencies. Inductive loads store energy in a magnetic field, making them ideal for applications like motors and transformers, but requiring power factor correction for optimal efficiency. Let's review a real-life example of inductive load. Consider an electric fan. The fan's motor is an inductive load. When you turn it on, the motor creates a magnetic field that causes the current to lag behind the voltage. This lag is why inductive loads have a lower power factor. In the last comes the capacitive load. A capacitive load is a type of load that stores energy in an electric field. It causes the current to lead the voltage by 90 degrees. Let's review some of the key characteristics of the capacitive load. In a capacitive load, the current leads the voltage by 90 degrees, meaning the current reaches its peak value before the voltage does. The power factor is less than one, leading, as some of the power is stored in the electric field and returned to the source. Capacitive loads store energy in an electric field, making them useful for applications like power factor correction and energy storage in electronic circuits. Examples include capacitors, power factor correction devices, and electronic circuits. Let's review a real-life example of inductive load. Think of a power factor correction capacitor in an industrial plant. It's used to counteract the lagging power factor of inductive loads like motors. The capacitor stores energy in an electric field, causing the current to lead the voltage. In the last, let's compare these three types shortly in terms of three main aspects. When it comes to phase relationship, voltage and current are in phase in resistive load. Current lags voltage by 90 degrees in inductive load. Current leads voltage by 90 degrees in capacitive load. When it comes to power factor, power factor is equal to one in resistive load. Power factor is less than one in inductive load and its nature is lagging. Power factor is less than one in capacitive load and its nature is leading. When it comes to the energy conversion, resistive load converts electrical energy into heat. Inductive load stores energy in a magnetic field. Capacitive load stores energy in an electric field. In the next video, we will have a thorough discussion on power factor. Link is mentioned in the description. For now, this is all from me. Thanks for watching. Take care.